Hey guys, Zephonix here, and this one's a response to all of the Skype messages and the voicemails and the text messages and all these information, PMs and all the stuff from fans of the Xbox 360 camp who want me to make a reply about how PlayStation 3 does not, um, excuse me, PlayStation 3 has more games than Xbox in 2011. Now, could I actually destroy that argument like you want me to? Well, of course I can. That's the reason why you're asking me to do it. But here's the situation. Now, you already know that um, the PlayStation 3 fans are not counting Xbox Live and PSN games. You already know that they're not doing that. You know, you already know that. Of course, you already know why. Because it doesn't suit their argument. Now, it doesn't make sense for them to do that. It's also hypocritical seeing that when, like last year and the year before that, when they were counting exclusives, they were counting um, not only, um, they were counting um, PSN exclusives such as Fat Princess, and things of that nature, but this year they don't want to count Xbox Live Arcade games, you know? It's definitely hypocritical, but whatever. Let it be. You know? And here's the thing. Why not let it be? Can I be perfectly honest with you? Why not let it be? Let the PlayStation 3 gamers do their cheering. Let them. Seriously. Think of it like this. They're kind of owed it. They are owed at least one year of cheering. Seriously, think about it like this. Since their launch, they've been losing exclusives left and right, such as Final Fantasy XIII, Final Fantasy XIV, how Sony said that Final Fantasy XIV was supposed to be an online uh, exclusive to the PlayStation 3, only to find out that one, it's on PC, and two, we found out that there was an actual Xbox 360 version in the works. So, yeah, not to mention many other games such as Devil May Cry, constantly losing um, exclusives left and right to the point where they start crying. Um, features. They were losing features left and right, such as uh, um, the ability to um, add an, another OS on your PlayStation 3. So it would, they were constantly losing, like almost like every year. So far, yes, every year they've, losing, they've lost at least one, ex um, one feature on their PlayStation 3. You know? Um... Newly introduced features on half of that, newly introduced features are usually half baked. Euless One just made a video a while ago, just maybe a while ago, but anyway, uh, he made a video talking about one of the features that was on PlayStation 3 that came out halfway working. You know? Including their web browser. Speaking of which, hell, their web browser, you know, the highly praised web browser on YouTube has less functionality than a 1998 word processor program, or hell, Netscape. You know, uh, most of the multiplats on their system look like half-baked turds. Um, and then you finally, they just got over the laughable prank that the PlayStation 3 had finally, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, had finally, um, outsold the Xbox 360, pretty much showing their hand of hypocrisy, you know, in terms of, oh, sales don't matter. Um, PlayStation Network still doesn't have cross-game chat. Still doesn't have cross-game chat. It's been five, ye four ye one, five years, and they still don't have cross-game chat, or maybe four years, whatever. PlayStation Network still doesn't have a voicemail system, which, by the way, has been in existence since 1975. Hell, my bulletin board system, the one that I used to run, what did actually have a voicemail system, but they don't. I don't know. That bulletin board system was like in what, 1992? Anyway, um, 2010 was one of the most disappointing Christmas um, launches, not launches, but Christmas um, distributes, distributes ever on the PlayStation 3. They literally, like, all their games were either canceled or they were crap. Hell. What was it they had? Uh, Gran Turismo 5, I think it was, or Gran Turismo 5, I think it was. Pretty much rated up there with boom blocks for the Wii. What does that tell you? You know, exclusives for the games are being canceled left and right, constantly being canceled left and right, such as the agency that was just recently canceled. The only party chat that they have on is PlayStation Home version of party chat, which does not have the functionality of Xbox Live Arcade. You know? Now, and last but not least, of course, they've pretty much said that when they launched, that the year of the um, PlayStation 3 was going to be in 2006. Then they said 2007. Then they said 2008. Then they said 2009. Then they said 2010. So finally, 2011 can actually be the year of the PlayStation 3. Granted, it's because Microsoft dropped the ball, and it's also because, uh, well, no, it's because Microsoft dropped the ball pretty much, you know, in terms of putting out more disc-based games. 
for the Xbox 360, but this actually gives a PlayStation 3 the opportunity to have, you know, to come out on top. That being said, I mean, hell, this also reminds me of the reason why the PlayStation uh, 1 is actually as popular as it is because Nintendo dropped the ball. I guess, all in all, only chance that um, PlayStation really has is when they actually go ahead and uh, when someone else go ahead and let drops the ball, I guess, right? But, hey, let them cheer. I see it like this. They have so many reasons so many reasons to sit in a corner and cry that quite frankly if something good is actually happening then I say go for it guys hell I see it like this this um every year they come out every year the PlayStation 3 has been out they have lost they have gained some inclusive but they lost exclusive as well cancel games left and right even this year with the agency being canceled and it's only April so yes, another exclusive had already been canceled. Hell, I wonder where Identify still is. No one has yet to confirm or deny where is Identify, you know? I wonder where that game went. But anyway, I mean, that's pretty much it. Just let them cheer, guys. Let them cheer. Step back, let them cheer. That's all I got to say about that. Give them the opportunity to go ahead and have fun with their console. Give them the opportunity to go ahead. I mean, think like they said, they've been fighting so hard. They've been fighting so hard to show that the Xbox, um, the PlayStation 3 is more superior than the Xbox 360. Well, as long as they keep it to 2011 disc-based games, you know, that are coming out in 2011 disc-based games, like I said, then they got it. Congratulations. They should feel like winners. Took them four years, maybe five years, but yes. Actually, they've been doing this before it came out, so five to six years, but yes. Finally, they have a reason to cheer. And I think that's cool. You guys have a good night. Zap out.